Starlink is giving an update as to what the heck is taking so long, and we also have a sneak peek at what the new rectangular design looks like out of the box. Unfortunately, many of you are learning you're gonna have to wait even longer for your Starlink. Now, I know this comes as no surprise to a lot of you, but Starlink recently sent out an update to many people who have placed their pre-orders and it's not looking good. In fact, I've had several of you email me and say that your mid to late 2021 date is now mid 2022. So I can only imagine how frustrating this must be. Starlink says in its update that over 14 million people have inquired about Starlink and that right now it's in over 20 countries. They're asking you to check your delivery timeline in your account. I know many of you have and are not happy with the fact that now the date is even later. They say that that's due in part to silicon shortages over the past six months, and that has greatly slowed their expected production rate and impacted their ability to fulfill all of those orders. They say they're working hard across their engineering, supply chain, and production teams to improve and streamline the product and factory to increase their production rate. You'll still get that email when your order is ready to ship, but you can cancel your deposit at any time and get a refund. And I know many of you have been opting to do that. And as they noted in this email, they recently released the latest version of Starlink, the rectangle that we see that's designed for high volume manufacturing. And they say that this latest version has comparable performance to the original beloved Dishy, and it will begin to ship globally next year. Since they launched in October 2020 in the US, they've expanded to serve an additional 20 countries, Canada, United Kingdom, Germany, New Zealand, Australia, Austria, France, Netherlands, Belgium, Denmark, Ireland, Switzerland, Portugal, Chile, Poland, Italy, Czech Republic, Mexico, Sweden, and Croatia. And pending regulatory approval, they plan to launch in an additional 45 countries by the end of next year. They also recently completed their 31st Starlink satellite launch with those newly designed satellites with the interlaser links that can talk to each other through lasers. Now, I don't have the new rectangular design. I have my OG Dishy McFlatface, but I wanted to give a shout out and a thank you to Adrian Bell in Ocala, Florida. He got the new rectangular design and he sent me some pictures of it fresh out of the box. And you can tell from Adrian's picture that obviously the new box is so much smaller than this box that is taking up a lot of my living room at the moment. <laughs> Adrian got his new Starlink dish by FedEx and some of the key features that he noticed is that the cable is very thick. The router only has one tiny light on the bottom between the power plug and the network plug. He says the new connector is bigger than a micro USB and he showed me these pictures for comparison. And he says when he set it up, it connected to the satellites in about three minutes. The new connector has a rubber gasket to keep out water on both the dish and the router. And the new router has a great base and doesn't fall over. So I wanna thank Adrian for sending me those awesome photos and congrats on receiving your new Starlink and the new design at that. And I also wanna thank the viewers who forwarded me their Starlink update emails. I really appreciate us all working as a team so that I can help get these updates out on YouTube and hopefully help people who are looking for Starlink service or maybe they have questions about when their order will be fulfilled, which unfortunately for so many of you sounds like it's going to be even later now. However, I think getting these uh, updates to you is still important. So I wanna know from you guys, has your date been pushed further ahead in the future? And also how many of you guys have decided just to cancel your deposit Tell me your reasons below and throw me a comment if you got the new rectangular dishy. Definitely exciting to see a new design and I really appreciate you guys watching my channel. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. And of course, I wanted to shout out my Patreon supporters. Oh my gosh, not only has the channel been growing, but the Patreon has also been growing substantially. I post some updates in there from time to time and give you sneak peek access to these videos before they go live for the rest of you. So I really appreciate all of the support for my channel. 
you have no idea how much it means to me. So thank you again, and I'll see you soon. And you can tell from Adrian's picture that obviously Also, it was very interesting to pack Dishy back in the Starlink box when I moved here. I turned it on and kind of held the dish so that it would position itself and lower this stand. And then I had to unplug it really quickly to make sure that it was lowered and flattened so that I could get it in the box. This is not something where there's a button or anything that you can just, there's a button obviously to attach the base, but getting this guy flat is a whole different story. So if you guys have a better way that you figured out how to do that, let me know. But um, the only way that I could figure out how to do it was to turn it on and then literally just like hold it all all different ways and then it started moving and I was like, oh my gosh, actually it's a two, two person job. Um, I had my friend who was helping me move make sure to stand by the wall and yank it out as soon as it was flattened. So if you guys have figured out a better way or um, maybe there's something that I don't know about the new design that makes it um, more portable, let me know. But that is something that you should consider if you do plan on keeping your box and moving dishy around.